Welcome to the Talking Head demonstration. I'm the result of a collaboration between the speech and vision groups at the Cambridge Research Lab in the UK. Until recently, I only had a voice. Now I have a synthesized face too. Last year, I could be very sad or be very angry. But this year I can be happy and afraid and even talk in a soothing way. The biggest difference between this system and talking heads that you might have seen before is the ability to express emotion and to do so in a, a realistic way. Um, if you just want to make a video of someone saying something in a very fixed uh, environment, their head's rigid, they're not smiling, then that's quite, quite easy to do. But as soon as you want to allow them to move their head around and have a variety of expressions, suddenly the number of possibilities becomes much larger. And that's what this model um, really deals with. So a lot of the communication between people is non-verbal and between people and machines at the moment it's not like that at all. Basically we have to input all the commands and things we want the computer to do ourselves and it doesn't pick up on subtleties such as you know, gestures by hand or by face. So this project is a collaboration between Toshiba Research in Cambridge and the University of Cambridge where we're trying to create new types of user interfaces and we, we made a system which allows you to type some text in, control an emotion, uh, set an emotion such as happy, sad or angry, and then we generate a video of a talking head, a person speaking, saying the text in that particular emotion. Don't forget mum's birthday. Have you got a gift yet? So to build the talking head, we started off by collecting a large amount of sample sentences, for which we got an actress in to come and say about 7,000 sentences in different emotions. Uh, we then fed these into a computer vision uh, program which tracked the face, uh, all the motion of the lips and the eyes, and um, then we added this to the audio data and trained the talking head using this, this large set of data. The mesh structure of the model can be seen here. Modes that specifically model head rotation and blinking are found. This allows us to control these variables manually if desired, and also decouples them from mouth shape. So what I find really interesting about this project is uh, how you know, interaction with a computer can be done in a, in a more natural way. So when I did my PhD in Cambridge, I was looking at gestures, hand tracking, and now we're looking at a different part of the body, basically the face, which is very expressive, and uh, basically the degree of realism is still not quite there if we look at, at films or animations and you know getting getting that little bit extra so that it really looks like you're talking to a real person is a real challenge I think and even now when we type in new text and set an emotion it's always uh, a new surprise basically you never know how it's going to sound how it's going to look it, will it be you know spot on or will it be slightly off and we're really working on improving that uh, if you think just trying to define what an emotion is it can be quite hard um, for example, happiness can be expressed in many different ways. Uh, so when we actually came to build the system, we needed a very consistent uh, form of happiness, the same type of happiness that could be repeated uh, again and again in the training data. And so uh, the actress that we got in to do this, Zoe was really good at giving each of the emotions a very distinct flavor, which means that when we came to learn the model, uh, it gave us half a chance of actually pinning down a basic emotion for each of the, each of the six emotions we modeled. Uh, so the next step is trying to extend this model to take anyone's face. So from maybe just a couple of photos or a few uh, seconds of someone speaking uh, to then be able to adapt the talking head to look like them and sound like them. Soon, I will be interactive, 3D, and be able to adapt to your needs. My creators want me to be the user interface of the future. One day, I might appear on your phone. I could be your personal assistant, your mentor, or your carer. Perhaps you'll see me in computer games, or advertising, or even in the movies.